with those last few extra ones to get past the 100 mark? Yeah, definitely. I thought I could have betted a little bit more towards the end there. There was a period that I got a little bit uh, ahead of myself, but uh, I then calmed down a little bit and I was looking to bet at least up until 45 overs. So that was the most disappointing thing for me. I wanted to go a little bit deeper into the innings and uh, keep one end uh, intact for the team. Um, Gray mentioned that the, the pitch might have slowed up a bit, the ball got a bit softer. Maybe you could talk us, talk us through your innings. Um, it, was, was that the case? Did the pitch slow up a bit in the latter half of the day? Yeah, I definitely did. And uh, I started to get a little bit frustrated. And that's, that's the period that I was talking about, that uh, I got a little bit off my plan. But uh, yeah, like Graham said, it did slow up quite a bit. And it became a lot harder towards the middle to the back end of the innings to, to score freely. How are you enjoying the number three position? Do you think you've, you've made it, Joe? Are you, are you happy there? Yeah, I've always been happy anywhere in the top three. And uh, I'd actually be interested to find out uh, where I've betted more, whether it's right up top or at three. Uh, but I think I've done pretty much uh, the same um, on both positions. So, yeah, it's, I'm quite comfortable there. With first 50 for you, for, uh, I mean, this tournament, having maybe, maybe sort of struggled for the first two games, what can you say uh, really changed uh, going to this game? I don't really think I changed much. I just um, tried to apply myself a little bit more like I have in the first two games. thought I had a couple of unlucky dismissals in the first two, so I just knew if I betted a little bit more time, uh, I'll, I'll be able to put up a score for the team. And yeah, like you said, first contribution. So yeah, really, really excited that I managed to contribute today and hopefully I can keep doing that for the team to move forward. I mean, how would you sum up your guys' performance so far in the tournament as being one of the senior members in the team? I think it's been a very good uh, team performance. Uh, everyone has sort of uh, chipped in, and uh, in both departments, everyone has sort of put their hand up and uh, done something for the team. So I think we're looking very strong in that uh, everyone is chipping in and everyone is performing. Right, and then looking at your role back as a number three, people, when you come out, they're expecting a bit more aggressive Hamilton. What would you say to that remark? I'll say I think life is uh, quite easy for me at the moment. Uh, coming in behind those two, uh, Solomon and uh, Cephas, is quite easy because they really put the bowlers under pressure and uh, they're getting us off to fast starts. So it's a lot easier for me to come and sort of take my time to get myself in and uh, just play, play that way. Uh, the cream of this group meets on Monday. Um, what will the team's preparations be, your preparations be, and uh, what is, what's the game plan uh, come Monday? I think uh, a lot more emphasis on just uh, resting up. Uh, we, we've, we've done quite a lot in, in the last two weeks, so I think guys just need to freshen up and uh, just save a little bit of energy for the game uh, against Scotland. And um, yeah, I think in terms of uh, the game plan, I don't think much changes. Uh, we just look to get out there and put runs on the board, apply ourselves and uh, come out and defend them in the, in the afternoon when it slows up a bit. So basically keep trying to do the same thing that, that we've done so far and uh, just take it from there. Have you done a bit of spying on Scotland, you know, of their matches so far and maybe what do you think would be the, the one thing that you guys really have to do, I mean, to beat them? Uh, we haven't really done that uh, just yet. We've got a fantastic backroom staff that have been compiling stuff for us. Uh, we've got Sri and uh, Stato. Uh, we'll do that in the morning tomorrow and we'll, we'll basically have a good idea of what we'll come up, come up against against Scotland when we, when we do meet them on Monday. All right, Hami, thanks a lot. Well played today and all the best on Monday. Yes, thanks, thanks gentlemen.